You are joining us for the continuation of the Three Things campaign here on Property Tribes this January. And joining me for the next instalment is Frank Webster. And Frank, I think I'm going to ask you to kind of explain what you do in the property sector because you're operational in a lot of different areas, aren't you? Yes, I'm still a practitioner, so I'm uh, managing property and helping uh, landlords buy property. Um, but um, sort of down to three days a week with a day job. So in my spare time, uh, I'm helping uh, landlords and other businesses uh, to sort of get better at what they're doing. Um, so, you know, been in, in the industry all my life and got a passion for the lettings industry. And you're a landlord, landlord yourself? I am, yes. So I've learnt, uh, as most of us do, through uh, trial and error, but mm. hopefully more uh, trial than, than error. Yeah. So I think you're an ideal person to contribute to our Three Things campaign where we're asking industry experts and commentators to really give us some pointers of the things that landlords should really be focusing uh, on in 2018. So Frank, what are your three things? Well, I think I've always said this, that um, I think landlords have really got to do a lot of homework. It's yes. a lot more complicated than it used to be being a landlord. So uh, you've got to take advice. So um, actually there's three key people I think you should take advice from and that is obviously a local letter agent that knows the area uh, or how the state agent I think you've really got to now partner up with um, mortgage finance people if you need to borrow money um, and my recommendation is that you ideally should use finance as well so you know go and talk to those guys as well mm -hmm. and then obviously also talk to a tax advisor because I think it's quite important about how you set up you know what vehicle you use to set up that uh, sort of initial acquisition so the three things I'd say land also is do your homework um, absolutely really do that very well and take advice Second thing is, I think when you're a landlord, you've really got to accept that you, you know, you, you've got to monitor the performance of that investment. Mm -hmm. Don't just forget about it. Mm -hmm. It's a bit like buying a car these days. Um, you know, you will need to get it serviced. Um, don't just sort of forget about it. Otherwise, it's not going to look after you. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and then the last thing is, I think you've really got to sort of think about the exit route um, mm -hmm. and, and don't just go on forever. Mm -hmm. um, think about why you're doing it and at what point you want to come out of it. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Can I go back to the second one about kind of monitoring performance? Because I totally agree with you that the vast majority of landlords, most of their properties are on the back burner if they're a sort of amateur or small landlord. They've got their day job. They're not really on top of everything that's happening. Um, key performance indicators, what are the kind of things that they should be monitoring and checking? Yeah, I mean, that's a good question. Um, well, clearly, um, you know, like any property, it's got to, uh, you know, have a, it's got to have a return and you've got to monitor that return. So I think key, key performance indicators, well, am I keeping in check with the, the rent? Is the rent up to the level that the, the market rent should be? Um, you know, check on the quality of that property. So, uh, you know, go and have a look at some other properties. Um, you know, is my property competitive? Mm -hmm. um, because for sure, you know, it's getting more and more competitive. Um, you know, so, so those, those are the two, two key, you know, performance indicators as far as I'm, I'm concerned. And would you also recommend that landlords, um, you know, look at their costs and see if they can be reduced? Because there are key things um, such as insurance um, and other professional fees where you can look for uh, better deals. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, ever more so with the government currently sort of squeezing landlords. I think landlords, have, you know, have really got to again do their homework on, on, on their costs. Um, it's not always about the cheapest though is the thing I would urge so mm. don't always go for the cheapest agent or the cheapest product mm. um, but for sure I think landlords have definitely got to sort of get more uh, you know bang for their buck. Mm. I do agree with what you said earlier as well about the importance of working with a reputable agent. Um, what are the sort of things that landlords should be looking for in a reputable agent because we all know that you have to be a member of an ombudsman scheme by law now but there are other kind of indicators of professional standards aren't there there are I mean you know I think you'll tell as soon as you go you know near an agent's office and I grant it's difficult because all the state agents and letting agents look the same they've all got LED window displays mm -hmm. and they're all advertising property so I think ask around and, and try and speak to other landlords who uh, you know have, and go to events such as this mm -hmm. to try and find recommendation because clearly that's one of the best mm -hmm. um, you know clearly an agent that's uh, with Arla or uh, NALS mm -hmm. um, or RICS you know they're going to be uh, hopefully a good agent as well um, and go into their premises and ask to uh, you know look around and meet the staff I think that you know that that's very important and um, might not go on a viewing as a pretend tenant um, and sort of have a look at the properties that they're they're managing and see what sort of condition they're in. That's a very good idea mystery shopping I like that um, I think just finally Frank 2018 we're looking forward to a new year 
a lot of uncertainty in the sector. We don't know if government has finished with landlords yet. Could be more to come. Are you feeling optimistic? Are you going to keep the landlord faith? Uh, absolutely very optimistic. I think, you know, um, we've been campaigning for uh, regulation of the industry for ages. Mm -hmm. So if that's where it's going to uh, go and, and happen, then I'm delighted because, you know, it's a big part of the property uh, stock in this country now mm -hmm. and it's long overdue. Um, so, you know, uh, I think the professional pre professionalism of this sort of uh, industry is long overdue. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the cowboys, of which unfortunately there are plenty, mm -hmm. and the landlords that aren't willing to get up to speed, will I hope now you know be kicked into touch mm, fantastic well thank you so much for joining me on our three things campaign it's great to have somebody of your experience and knowledge of the sector to be a contributor here so thanks very much thank to Frank much. Webster